Hi guys, today we will learn our first lessons, computer system. In this topic, there are included four subtopics. There are system concept, number system and representations, information coding scheme, logic gate and simple logic circuit. Now we start with the topic 1.1, system concept. In this chapter, student, student will be able to describe the operations involved in information processing cycle. Information processing cycle consists of four stages. There is a input there is an input, processing, output, and storage. It means all computers are performing four stages to produce an information. Each of these stages plays an important role in the collections, analysis, and distribution actions performed by a computer system. From the figure below, it shows computer will process the data which is data as an input. So this is the data into information. So the output will be information. Computer process the data using instructions or commonly we call it as a software. which are the software is the steps that tell the computer how to perform a particular task. A computer often holds data, information and instructions in the storage for future use. So the storage will hold data, information and instructions for future use. As you can see, the picture here is a general diagram for information processing cycles. We need to draw flowcharts in order to get the proper way to demonstrate the cycle. So it starts with the parallelogram, which is you can label it as an input and followed by arrow and followed by process process stages and the last one is a output we draw it as a parallelogram and the storage is below the process so this is called flowchart diagram for information processing cycle. First stage is uh, input. Input means uh, data and instructions are entered into the memory of computer. Data and instructions are entered into the memory of computer. Normally, data must enter into a system before it can process. Data are commonly uh, outside from the computer. The data entered into the system by uh, human interactions. Human interactions through various input devices. As you can see in the list here, there are lots of input devices such as keyboard, mouse, 
microphone, touch screen monitor. Normally, you can see, you can found at your smartphone. The movement of the body, sensor, thermometer, clock, magnetic stripe card reader, RFID reader, IR devices, and so on. Process. Process. The purpose of the processing stage is to convert the raw input into a form that it can be stored for later use or to provide information output for further actions. The process is typically uh, use some form of software or instructions with uh, specific actions take, taken on a particular type of data. It is also common for the software to request data and guide it into processes. At this stage, the raw data is converted, transformed, or manipulated into information. And this, in these stages, a process is done by CPU or Central Processing Unit in the computers. So it needs some particular software or instruction to form the information. Output in information processing cycles means the computer to send information to a medium that human can understand. The computer will send information to a medium that human, human can interpret and human can understand. To convey the information, computer need to use output devices such as printer to print out the graph or to print out the tables in a piece of paper so human can read. Monitor is to display the result spread the results uh, also can use for touch screen monitor from smartphone or tablet. Speaker to produce audio. LED to produce the to send the signal such as traffic light. And LCD same as monitor. The output stage could uh, store the data in a new format or transform the process data into an input to another input process output. The last stage in the information processing cycle is storage. In this stage, Storage can be used directly from the process or output stage. The processing stage may need to store data for later use. The output stage may store process data as information for display to the users. The storage stage does not only store the data or information on a fixed storage medium, such as hard disk, but can also store data and information on removable media, such as flash drive, CD-ROM, DVD, SD card, and memory card. Before we proceed more deeply in this topic, you need to answer some question below. You are given about 10 minutes to answer. You can start now.